1-800-449-8686. This is the Phil Hendry Show. All right, Dr. Sadler, you said that this was an outrage. Why? Uh, Phil, uh, I believe this is an outrage because I have worked on behalf of the African-American community for uh, 20 years. And to be the object of a lawsuit like this, accusing me of racial uh, bias, accusing me of violating federal law concerning public accommodation is a, really, it's a hurtful thing. It is dishonest. Uh, and it's, I think, a, a terrible way to deal with a misunderstanding that could very well have been worked out and talked out, and they would have understood that it was a big misunderstanding, and it started out as a practical joke. Uh, All right, well, right now you're the object of a lawsuit filed by the African American Social Action League. You're affirmed to, you refuse to perform the whitening process, which is a teeth whitening process, on African American patients. Yes. Why? It was to simply, we just had moved, if I can give some background, I'd appreciate it. Go ahead. I was married two years ago to a wonderful young lady who was a, uh, a young lady who, uh, you know, I think deserved all of the best in this world as her husband. She's a little bit younger than me. I'm, I just had turned 53. Uh, Mandy uh, just turned 20. Uh, and uh, it was raised in a very poor circumstance. So we moved to a new neighborhood, uh, a very upscale, mostly white neighborhood. And it was surprising uh, to see uh, African-American patients uh, coming in. Uh, why, why is it surprising? Well, not surprising, but it, it was an affluent neighborhood that we thought was mostly uh, whites. Uh, but be that as it may, uh, we do offer... Uh, two kinds of what is called a whitening process. One of them is a bleach. The other is using the uh, using a, a, a whitening the teeth by way of uh, high intensity light. Uh, this gentleman came in, uh, Mr. Dunn, and requested the teeth whitening process from our receptionist, and she made an appointment for him. Uh, when we saw him on the fourth of, of uh, June, uh, he said at that time that he was there, and that's when we refused him the, the service. And uh, I had a kind of a smile on my face when I did it. Uh, well, why did you refuse him the service? Would you say you were joking? Why? I, the joke was, and I had said to him, uh, we, I said that we will not whiten your teeth because it would spook you know, pe people in the dark. Now, that is the joke. And It would spook people in the dark. Now, you're using a racial epithet there. No, no, no. I didn't mean it as spook as in black. I said spook as... As in scare? Yes. And, and, and But you're going down that... There's a racial... Uh, this sort of area of, of, of jokes at the expense of someone's color by saying that if he smiled in the dark, it would be too bright. Yes, and that is a standard joke. And uh, and why would you make a joke like that with a patient that you had just met? It was, I was joking, I was trying to lighten the mood, because what happened was this. Uh, when he came in, uh, we had assumed that the neighborhood was mostly uh, uh, white people, and when we saw a black man, my, my, uh, my receptionist got a little... Uh, scared and uh, didn't know why he was there. And so in order to lighten the mood... Uh, right, look, you've made the claim that you were joking in all of these cases, but it went on for two months. This is not the only man. And the lawsuit was filed. Your first response through your attorney is that you had the legal right to refuse teeth whitening to black people, quote, on account it might spook people in the dark, end quote. All right, Phil, but I, let me tell you something. If you're going to hold on for a minute. Now you're saying... No, hold on. You hold on. Now you're saying that you were only joking and you were trying to lighten the mood. That is exactly correct. Well, did the joke... Go on for two months? The joke went on for as long as I thought people, you know, were enjoying it. Now I, I turn around and I find out that there's a lawsuit. All right? And that's when I went back to my attorney and I said that this was just a joke and that they could not possibly be serious given my record 
of civil rights supporting the African American community. And tell, tell me how you've supported the African American community, and I'll give her a number out here 1 800 449 8686. 1 800 449 8686. What, what is your history of support? So I, I have been a weightlifter and a bodybuilder for the last 30 years. And many of the exhibitions that I have put on where you are posing and demonstrating and exhibiting various uh, weightlifting as well as bodybuilding poses, I've done an awful lot of them in black communities and uh, the like. So what I, and I wanted to do that on purpose. I wanted to bring the idea of weightlifting and body sculpting to young African-American males. Uh, and also I wanted to allow uh, the women of that community to enjoy uh, what I've been able to achieve with my body. Now, I, uh, my dental practice, which I have been engaged in for, I graduated from University of Southern California Dental School uh, in 1976, uh, has been one that has always uh, uh, been, uh, you know, uh, friendly to the community. All right, but, but for two months, you refused the teeth whitening process to some five different patients and all the while you said it was because it might spook people in the dark and i, I figured by that point they knew it was a joke and i figured yeah, but M mr sadler did this become a joke when you got the lawsuit or absolutely not no did you this become a joke when you got the lawsuit or was it always a joke in other words you did you suddenly realize well maybe i was just joking no sir i did not suddenly realize maybe i was just joking i said to them the guy came in, and he sat down. It's Mr. Dunn you're talking about, right? Yeah. This Mr. Dunn came in and sat down. I said, what would you He says, I wanted the teeth whitening. I said, I said you're kidding. You know, when, when I said, uh, you, you, you'll light it up when you smile in the dark. And, and I was joking, and, and he, uh, he, he, you know. Uh, Did he look like he was laughing? Well, he didn't look like he was laughing, but the understanding was, uh, you know, that it's such a broad joke. Uh, well, what did the man do when you said that? Well, look, he sat there for a minute, I, and I said to him, look, I can't, because I'm kidding around with him. And I said, look, I can't do it, because if I put the teeth whitening on you or some of these other, you know, the other, you know, the other uh, blacks or, you know, other African Americans, uh, and they suddenly, uh, somebody tells a joke in the dark, you know, there, there's going to be, uh, you know, a high incidence of, 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 of epilepsy just given the light from their teeth is going to hit some sort of a lesion in the brain. You know, I was just joking. And uh, next thing I know, I got this lawsuit. So, no, it was never intended as anything racial. It was always a joke. All right, 1-800-449-8686. I'm going to find out whether or not, and through this lawsuit, whether people are going to really believe that. Well, I don't think they have a choice. All right, here is Carol. Carol, go ahead. You're on the Phil Henry Show. I, I don't understand this gentleman's uh, rationale that it was just a joke. Uh, wait, that just... is ridiculous to even say it's a joke. At the expense of another person. Well, it's just, I'm just fooling around. I'm sure you... You don't, many people have been hurt by just fooling around. We don't allow children, I'm an educator, I'm a retired educator. Yes, ma'am. We don't allow children to go to school and degrade other children based on race. And you're getting on national TV saying it's just a joke. Well, I hardly About see how that's African -Americans, degrading. -Americans, African Americans who want their teeth whitening is going to cause some kind of uh, illumination. That's, no. that's ridiculous. Well, ma'am, can I just say, Mr. Henry, I have spent many years in the African American community helping. And, no, no, uh, you're not. Don't, don't, don't do the helping. Uh, you know that's not, that on, doesn't cover I put what on, you've done. It has not. Well, you covered say you it. put on weightlifting demonstrations and posing. Is that it? Yes, that's what I do. I'm a bodybuilder. And I went, I, I went into the black community and I put on uh, shows. Well, sir, I, I've, I'm an African American educator. Yes, ma'am. I have been in the white community most of my life. That well, doesn't then, give me justification to degrade any of the children, parents, or anyone that I work with. We That has nothing to do with it. And you're saying you're going into the African American community with bodybuilding. My son did bodybuilding all over. Yes. He worked with people of course. in and the bodybuilding sport. 
But when he was there, he was hey. there as a mm-hmm. bodybuilder, and he conducted himself as a gentleman well, I did around too. many races of people. Had you made this kind of joke, Mr. Sadler, before? What, what, what kind of joke? When you said, I can't whiten your teeth because gonna, you're going to spook people in the dark? You know what, Phil? I, I, I have been in the African-American... I've made all kinds of jokes, and they've made all kinds of jokes, and, we, and it's always been very light and no big deal. Now, all of a sudden, I'm getting sued. And uh, Well, here's the thing. A joke is a joke. When it goes on for two months through five or six different prospective patients, and you never say to anybody at the time you're joking, you know... Did you ask these patients to come back? Did you say to them, oh, look, I'm only joking, come on back in? Well, look, they, they, uh, I thought it was understood. I thought You thought it was understood that they thought you were joking? Yes. Mm-hmm. That, well, that's the problem. If him deciding what's understood by someone else, you cannot do right. that. Let's say I did this, Carol. Let's say you come in for the whitening process, and I give you the whitening process. Then you come in for your follow-up appointment, and I put on my sunglasses. That's a joke. That is not a joke. That's not a joke. That is not a joke. That's me saying, look at how white your teeth are. I got to put on, uh, you know, uh, uh, bomber shades or something. But if you said that to, if you did that to the African Americans, that is not a joke. Well, I don't see. Do you do you do that with all the Anglo's and other people that come in? Do you well, make no. that type of statement when they come in? Well, no, ma'am, because okay, the joke but is... then you were singling out people based on their race. Mr. Mr. Sadler, Mr. Sadler, after the them out. okay, Carol, Mr. Sadler, after this lawsuit was filed, you did take on as a patient uh, Susan McDonough. Yes, I know Susan very well. She's an African American female. Yes. All right, you gave her the whitening process. Yes, I did. And when she came in for her follow-up, you walked in with a welding mask on. It was a joke. Good God. You walk in with one of those welding masks that guys have to wear when they're soldering things? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, what do you mean, uh-huh? See, even this lady's laughing, see? Yeah, even she's <laughs> laughing. Yeah, it's funny, see? No, it's not uh, funny. It's you see, you ridiculous. won't even allow yourself to admit that it's funny. You oh, want to no. be, uh, what it do they call ridiculous. it? It's ridiculous. Politically, I'm uh, laughing to keep from being angry with you uh, making that, it a joke. You're being politically, what do they call it, politically correct. That's, see? And I, well, look it. You know, I really question whether it's a joke when you don't let people in on it. And you walk in with a welding mask on. It was to tell her the teeth, your teeth are so white, you're going to blow everybody out of the room. But you don't do it with white folks. Because that's not funny. Look, I used to do amateur, you know, comedy. Yeah, well, okay, I mean... All right, hold, Carol, thanks for your call. 1-800-449-8686. This gentleman, Dr. Jim Sadler, is a dentist uh, who apparently refused the teeth whitening process to five or six prospective black patients. The comment made and the comments cited in the lawsuit, I can't whiten the teeth of black people. It might spook people in the dark, end quote. Now, this is a very standard thing, a standard joke about uh, black folks among whites. Uh, Look, after Phil, if I could say something. Go ahead. After Miss McDonough got her treatment, I turned off the lights and I told her to say cheese, and she 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 finally said, "Yeah, you know that is kind of funny." And you to- turned off the lights and told her to say cheese, but in the lawsuit, you said you needed to do that because it was a special thing for black patients. I was no, I did not say that. Yes, you. According, no, I'm not saying you did. I'm just saying according to the lawsuit, you said yeah, I got to turn the lights off and tell you to say cheese because that's the only way I can tell if black folks' teeth are white enough. I don't remember saying that, and if I did. I'm sure that I told her I'm about to do another joke. And- uh, okay, hold on. 1-800-449-8686. This man is a dentist who is being sued under civil rights uh, law. He refused the teeth whitening process to black patients. Things like say cheese in the dark. You might spook folks when it gets too dark. You might give people epilepsy because the light will trigger off a lesion in their brain and so forth. 1-800-449-8686, Phil Hendry Show. Phil Hendry, 1-800-449-8686. Show me where it says bone smoker in the Constitution. The Phil Hendry Show is back. 1-800-449-8686. Dr. Jim Sadler with me. Dr. Sadler, as a dentist, now you know you've got a, a lawsuit. It's a serious lawsuit, sir. 
Uh, well, I think that it's a frivolous lawsuit. All right, but the, nonetheless, uh, refusing someone's service on the base of their race is a, is a, a serious civil action. Now, the question that I have for you uh, is, is, have you made amends? Have you attempted to go ahead and, and at least while this suit is, is wending its way to the courts, provide service to African Americans? No. I have done everything that I can to try to work this out with the black community. I talked to members of the local church league. I met for a series of roundtable discussions uh, with black leaders and black church leaders. Uh, well, at those meetings, did you not refuse to whiten black people's teeth? No, I did not. I said in those meetings the following, that African-American patients do not need the teeth whitening process as much as white people because of their black skin making their teeth look whiter already. If you whiten the teeth up any more, it will be far too bright and too white. And it will, if, if you don't like jokes about, if black people don't like jokes about... Come on, doctor. I mean... No, I'm trying to tell you that... Come on. You're an educated man. Yes, I am. And I'm trying to tell you, if black people don't like jokes about smiling in the dark, go ahead and get your teeth whitened and see, see, see what happens. And I'm just saying... Are you telling me that you do not whiten the teeth of African Americans? No. But you're, everything you're telling me here points in the direction of you'd rather not. I'm just saying, save yourself the money. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with a dentist saying to, a, to a, an African-American patient, save yourself the money, you don't need it? I know as well as you do, and I'm not even a dentist, there are black people, as well as white people, who've got pretty bad teeth and could use a little lightning. Well, if you're, you know, if you're zeroing in on the teeth like that, I mean, a, a, a black guy smiles, his teeth could be as, 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 rotting out of his head. But if from, a, you know, from 10 or 20 yards, he looks like George Hamilton. I don't understand what you're talking about. Ten or twenty yards. I, that, All right, hold on. One eight hundred four four nine eight six eight six. Doctor Jim Sadler talking to us. This lawsuit finding its way through the courts, and you have to answer the summons in January, right? That is correct. Yes. Here is uh, Kenny. Kenny, you're on the Phil Hendry Show. Go ahead. Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I was very interested in making a comment because listening to this man, who's well educated from one of the highest. Uh, institutions in the country Thank you. to speak like this. Um, it, well, first of all, that kind of racial debasing, as you know, was taught to white people who were poor and uneducated to help make them feel superior. But to make statements like that when your job and your profession is to service people in their teeth, and you want to draw a line. Also, you're in the medical field, and in the medical field, you know that the only difference between African Americans and whites is about a teaspoon full of a substance called melanin. That well, makes sir, it I, a not, little bit different, but I'm not, not different enough. I'm not refusing service. Uh, but I would be afraid to have service with you because I wouldn't trust you because of statements like that. That's not a joke. That, you really don't want to, to service African Americans, but you're too, you, know, you don't want to really say it, so you, now you want to say it was a joke. It was never a joke. It was no, sir. It was a joke because I, I, I still, I'm providing service to my black patients as well as my white patients in every area. The only area that I made a joke was this. And All right. At a recent dental convention, did you make the following statement? If you whiten enough teeth in African American patients, a bunch of them smiling looks like flash bulbs going off. I said it as a gag, and that was not said publicly. That was at a cocktail party. And All right. So the only jokes you can make are racial jokes. You said you are doing com comedy. No wonder you, you're still at the amateur level in comedy. And I'm beginning to think you might be at the amateur level as a, also as a dentist. Well, I, I would never trust you in my mouth. What, what? Watch how you say that. I'd never trust you in my mouth. That's, see, that's the kind of high... That's what I call lowbrow comedy. I'll never trust you in my mouth. No, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. You know what he's talking about. work in your mouth, well. they work with teeth. Even if you're orthodontist, you're still working with the teeth, and the teeth are located in the mouth. Come on, you're an educated man. Let's well, not I, I know, but if like I was on not. stage and you said that from the audience, I'd say, really? Well, you know, well you're not on stage, uh, and neither am I. We're yeah. talking about a lawsuit that you're facing, which is actually what you call a natural consequence. You did something, you tried to get away with it, you got caught, now you want to call it a joke. Yeah, but you're saying that it was malicious. I'm saying it was a gag based upon 20 years of comedy, plus I weightlifted and did bodybuilding exhibitions in the black community. For what? We, black, blacks have always been able to weightlift. They didn't need you to do an uh, exhibition. And how did that, how is that a civil rights move? 
That, that, that is not well, a civil rights move because you're lifting weights. You wanted to show off your body. Come well, on, we know what exhibitionism show, is. Don't you think that that allows some of the ladies to see me, too? For what? It's so that it gives them a break. All right, look, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Kenny. 1 800 449 8686, Phil Henry Show. The Phil Henry Show. 1 800 449 8686, Foo Bar. The Phil Henry Show is back. 1 800 449 8686. Well, you want to apologize to the black uh, uh, patients or the, uh, the prospective patients that came into your office, and you want to make right the teeth whitening. Absolutely, Phil. I mean, I'm not here, uh, but the civil suit has been brought anyway, and I find that wrong. Yeah, but the civil suit's being brought because they say there's a pattern of racist behavior, given the fact that you made that crack at that dental convention about uh, when, when black folks smile in a dark room, it looks like flashbulbs going off. You know, that's, I think, very unfair. And I think it shows a malicious intent on their part. I was with a very dear friend of mine, if I, I began to tell the story, uh, when I was in dental school, this was years ago, and we were in Orlando, Florida. And we took two young ladies on a double date, and we were going to the drive-in movie theater. We went to a drive-in movie theater in Orlando, Florida. Okay, Mr. Henry? I'm following. We drove in to a place called the Orange Drive-In, and we were going to see a midnight feature. And it was a couple of guys and a couple of girls. That's what we were doing. I remember we had a bottle of wine, and we were having a date. And uh, I, I knew there were other cars in the drive-in movie lot, but as I looked around, I couldn't see any people. <laughs> okay? Now... I couldn't see any people, and I said to my friend, I said, I can't see any people in the car. And that's when he said, you know, grab your socks, you better tell the joke. <laughs> okay, meaning we had pulled into a drive-in movie theater in a primarily African-American neighborhood. <laughs> okay? And so, uh, well, what does he mean, tell a joke? Meaning they'll all... Uh... Then you'll be able to see the teeth. And finally, I saw, I seen uh, one set of teeth. Now, and, and we laughed. We, we didn't get scared. We didn't leave. We didn't say, oh, no, black people, we better, le we better leave. We stayed and enjoyed the... the uh, it was a horror double feature, a horror triple feature, something like that. And we and, and I just want to say, I shouldn't say this probably, but it was a, it turned out to be a very you know wonderful night because the girl that I was with had been an ex-girlfriend that we were hooking back up and uh, you know when we got back to my apartment it you know it, it was it was it was it, it, it was pretty 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 well worth it you know but but the point is uh, what is the point of this story so you pulled into a drive-in with a lot of other black, uh, uh, customers who happen to be black patrons and so what. So the way we figured out that they were African Americans is we saw some teeth uh, flash, and and it's just and and cut to thirty years later, you're making jokes in your dental office. Uh, no, no, it's because we are living in a time when you want to cut the tension a little bit, and uh, I sort of reverted, I suppose. Uh, I was, I was surprised to see a black patient. Uh, I shouldn't have been. I recognize that now. And, uh, again, I've offered free cleaning to uh, all uh, black patients in the neighborhood for the next 90 days. Now, that is, of course, uh, contingent. About well, I don't want to hear what you're going to work out with a court. I just want to do, I want to get to some phone calls now. 1-800. But you heard the story. Yeah, I heard your story about the drive-in theater. I don't know that that, I don't know that that clears you all that much. One eight hundred four four nine eight six eight six. Jason, you're on the Phil Henry Show. Go ahead. Yes, uh, I would like to speak, speak in reference to the African American community and tell you how ridiculous you sound by these jokes. And I mean, even even the uh, character that you're showing on this radio station by talking about some date and what you did after your date. You know, that, that's not no even, that's irrelevant. Well, 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 I don't understand. Well, talking to us about what you did with the girl afterwards, who cares? It, it. it was a memorable night. That's all I'm saying. All right, that's fine, but we don't need to know that. The point is, is, I'm sorry, Jason, to preempt you there, but the point is, that's right. this gentleman is trying to say, you know, your drive-in movie theater experience where you didn't see any people until someone smiled only further indicts you. I don't understand how that does. I mean, it was a joke then. 
Uh, this gentleman, uh, I'm sure, can I, uh, you don't see any humor in that, sir. I don't see any humor in that at all, at all. And, uh, I mean, if I had been one of your patients, I would have did the same thing. I mean, you deserve to be sued. Well, wait a minute. My I... personal opinion. You said that when you used the restroom in that theater, it was so dark, you asked the guy next to you if he'd smile. Yeah. yeah. I, okay, oh, I guess that's about okay, too. Uh, okay, so that is there, absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, there we go. See, everything I do now is wrong. Every well, look at man. I mean, it, it, you're telling all these stories to your lawyer. He's releasing this stuff to us as if this is going to make you look good. Are you kidding me? A guy goes I mean, to... You're a sick-minded individual. How am I sick? You're a sick-minded individual. How, how anybody gave you your license to be a, a dentist. Let, let me ask you, sir. Your name is Jason, right? Yes, it is. All right. So we're standing in the restroom, and the lights go out. And I good-naturedly say to you, hey, Jason, would you smile so I can zip up? What, are you going to tell me that's not funny? Yeah, I'm going to tell you that's not funny. That is sick. What's sick about it? Why are you going to tell me that in the bathroom? And then on top of that, that further degrades me, personally. I mean, why does it only have to be black people when they smile that they light up the room? I mean, well, because don't all, of the contrast. If, I, mean, the contrast. If, if one, I mean, but does does the teeth being in a black, on a black person yeah, the only contrast. the room? I mean, will not the white person have, not, I mean, have the same effect? Here's a quote from the dental convention. You said, the white teeth on my black patients is almost a superpower. Where African Americans see my jokes as degrading, I see their white teeth as something akin to a super ability or superpower, not unlike Superman having bullets bounce off his chest. Yeah. You're kidding, right? Oh, my what? God. Well, wait a minute. No, hold on. Now you have to tell me what's wrong oh. with that. I was trying to make a statement that was a reaching out to the black community. What are you talking about? You, you always, always talk about you reaching out to the black community. And even with the exhibitionist thing, I mean... How in the world is that reaching out to the black community? That's I'm showing. My I mean, I'm doing I mean, bodybuilding for free. You know, I'm going around. And, and what is that supposed to do? Well, I I said to Mr. Henry, and I was laughed at. I said for a lot of the ladies, it you know, I don't let's blame them see I something. I laughed at you too. Well, it's, you're ridiculous. You're sick minded. What do you mean a superpower? I meant it wasn't bad to say that black folks have white teeth. It was good. It was almost like it was a superpower. That they could light up the room in case you needed to see to zip up. Jason, what, what, what do you do when your headlight goes out? What do you do when your headlights go out? This, it's a joke, by the way. What do you do when your I headlights go out? I buy another bowl. Well, no, no, but right there on the road, when your headlights go out, don't you stick your head out the window and smile? See, that's a joke. He doesn't that's think it's funny. He doesn't that is think... not a joke. That it's is not, not a joke. It's not a joke. That's not funny at all. It's not. That's not Stick your head out the window and smile. Yeah. What do you do? If my headlights go out? Yeah. I ask my uh, wife to stick her head out the window and smile. Is your wife black? You yes, because my wife's black. Oh, isn't that great? Now that's great. Now you have an African-American wife being oh. sued by the African-American. What does your wife think about all of this? Well, I'm, what do you mean? What does she think about it? I mean, I, it's, I, I feel sorry for her. We live in a very wealthy neighborhood. She's happy with the, the life that I've afforded her. Uh, and at that expense, you go around making jokes. Well, I mean, she can shop wherever she wants. Look at uh, what I'm saying. Is you also made another statement in this. You said the black man and what? This sounds almost like Hitler talking to a. a, a, a sure exactly. The black man and woman have Good natural thing. fog lamps. Yes. Natural fog lamps. All right. So in other words, that's not cool either. No, it's not. What I would say to you is run it by your wife. She doesn't care. She's getting her nails done again. That is sick. Jason, come on. You don't think that's funny? No, it's not funny. I whipped that one out. I was doing I was doing uh, uh, the comedy store amateur night. Did it get any laughs? It didn't get any laughs, but I didn't get told not to come back. And nothing... You are a sick minded. All of this stuff was, by the way, reprinted in the American Dental Association Journal as an example of what a jackass you are. And uh, I don't think so. He is a I think, jackass. Yeah. And so I think I can only, you know, I can only imagine what's going to happen to you in this lawsuit. Thank you very much, Jason, for your call. Thank you. Uh, 1 800 449 8686. Wait a minute. You can't let that guy have the last word. No, you've had all the last words here, man. The African American has a superpower.
natural fog lamps when they smile. Um, 1-800-449-8686. Now, do we have time for another call? We've got a pretty long flashback request. Should we go to the flashback after this break? Well, let's go to the break. We'll be right back. World famous Phil Hendry Show. Phil Hendry Show. 1-800-449-8686. Don't be bleaching out on me now, sister. The Phil Hendry Show is back. 1-800-449-8686. We're very happy to, to do the tooth, to, to the tooth whitening. Uh, but I don't think that I should be discriminated against on account of my comedy. Well, come on, man. Are you telling me that you will whiten black folks' teeth as long as you're allowed to make these jokes? Well, it's... it's if it's offensive to patients who are paying money... Well, I understand that. Of course. If you've if you got... Uh, these are people, these are patrons of yours who are going to be paying you money for a service, and you're offending them? Well, I, I, I can tell you that uh, I think it's wrong that I can't make a, a couple of cracks. At the ADA meeting, you're talking about flash bulbs going off. And uh, what do you do when the headlights go out? Stick your head out the window and smile. Here is Karen on the Phil Hendry Show. Karen? Yes. Um, I was listening to the commentary to the well, interview that she was doing with the dentist. And I'm just, in, I'm just appalled of what you had said. You stated that you're married to an African-American woman. Yes, a very that, lovely young woman. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. And it doesn't matter what you say and the jokes that you say, it doesn't bother her. There's no way that I can believe they, I mean, married to an African-American woman, the jokes you say, the jokes that are so idiotic that I, I can't even phantom the thought of you even making them up to think that you're going to get any kind of laugh from audience, especially African-American. Well, ma'am, my, uh, day- my wife is, is very young. She's also a model, so... You know what? What does that That's tell you? Fine. You know, what does that I'm mean? Very... She's stupid. Well, no, she has that, the I mean... brightest bulb in a tree. No. Well, there. I guess I made a bulb joke. So you talk about you. You just you disgrace your wife the way you do the way you disgrace no, African American, I... and she's okay with that. Wait a minute. How did I disgrace her? I just said she's not all that bright. She knows she's not that bright. She's a model. Yes, very very popular model. I mean, are are you actually believing the things that you're saying, that it's okay to say these things? Ma'am, I don't think it's okay, and I will stop saying them, but I just think my message tonight, uh, as a a show of solidarity with uh, uh, black folks, is to say, you know, lighten up. uh, Lighten You know, there's nothing wrong with a little headlight joke. You know what? You you, you can't even fix your mouth to tell an African-American lighten up, because you don't know where they've been. To tell the African American as a white man to lighten up. I date a white man. If my boyfriend ever would say a joke which is so deemed racial to me, there's no way I could even fathom the thought of even being with him. The struggles that African American has went through for so long, and for you to open up a wound and actually pour salt in oh, it, ma'am, I'm to not, say I'm, that you're can saying I just say something? Uh, first of all. Uh, most white men who date black women uh-huh. feel that they've really achieved something because it's difficult for some white men to cross that racial barrier. So when you finally have a black woman in your in your life, the beautiful uh, bl- black women uh, that we know of, you don't want to say anything to mess that up. Uh, so I've never tried to say anything that's right. But one night my wife said we're going to a party, and it was on. It was a, it was a party that was very early, and she missed it because she overslept. I said, you missed the party. She says, how come white people have to start their parties so early? And I said, what do you mean by that? She said, well, black people start their parties a little bit later on. And I said, well, that's because we have jobs to go to in the morning. Okay? See? Oh, so everything oh, you say is, de- everything you say is degrading. Everything you're saying is degrading. Do you it was actually comedy. Listen to what you- do you it's, actually listen to what you actually say that comes com- out of your mouth? It's comedy. Look, the it's, only... What do you mean it's comedy? comedy? Who's laughing at it? I mean, what kind of comedy is that? Look, the only reason why a white man... Here's another joke I did. White guys date black women because it saves them the double D batteries when the lights go out. See? And that always gets a big laugh. Look at, sir, I'm finding now that you're just basically offensive. In other words, yeah, you know, scary. you're just saying stupid stuff to sound stupid. What was stupid about that? The only reason why a white guy dates a black woman is to save the double D batteries when the lights go out. That is the most idiotic oh, come on. thing I have ever heard. Come on. You, you really, you are really putting, I mean, you are, I don't understand you. Are you taking the, the gas that you're using on your, your patron? Are you using it? Because 
the things you're coming out of your mouth saying, I, I mean, you, you're, you're just amazing. So in other words, if I have... said to you, say cheese, you wouldn't get at least a giggle out of that. No, I think she's made it clear. She. What do you mean, say cheese? Say... I say, hey, Karen, uh, doesn't seem to be a light, a light on. Say cheese. You know. You know what? Man, you, you know what? What a jackass. You, you, you are putting us back so far. You put. You you are crazy. I, I have came to the conclusion that you're not wrapped too tight. You're really not. And you know what? I uh, hope you, you just get some help because you're not wrapped tight. Well, your you jokes, did make a statement. You're not you going were right. anywhere. You're you not did. going anywhere with your jokes. You need to change it up. No, you Those did. Those racial did. jokes, you're going to say to the wrong person at the wrong time. All right. I, ma'am, I am on. I am using gas. Okay, there it is. There it is. All right, hold on for 1-800-449-8686. 1-800-449-8686. Every time you open your mouth, you sink into a bigger swamp of dumb. The Phil Henry Show is back. 1-800-449-8686. You want me to punish myself? Come here, honey. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to Mandy. Come here. So, you think I should punish my? Go ahead and hook him up. I don't want to. Go ahead. Hook him up. She's putting the electrodes on my nipples. Wait a minute. What do you mean? What do you mean electrodes on your nipples? That's what she's doing. Yeah! There. Okay, you feel better? I don't want to do it anymore. Come on, one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Does everybody feel better? The white man's being tortured yeah. by a black woman. One eight hundred four four nine eight six eight six. The world famous Phil Hendry Show.